Oh God, that was a mistake. That wasn't pleasant at all. All right, we're gonna get a quick batch. I just need a eight chunky pilchers to take off shore and drop at the wrecks. So I'm gonna try to combine it and do uh, mainly vertical jigging and then depending, drop down a livey and see what happens. So I want some good quality sized ones since we're going way off. And I don't need a lot of them because I don't want to babysit them. So that eight would be about perfect. And I think I got enough to get us going. Not all jumbos, but that'll work. It's taking a lot longer than I wanted it to, so we'll take off now. All right, I got a bunch. I've got to weed through these. Because I only want big ones. Biggies. 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 And biggies. The rest can go out. Get out, get out. Biggies. The rest go away. everybody so hopefully you can tell by the color of the water we are on the outside I'm gonna do some offshore stuff today I did already make that run in to grab some pilchards so I got a select bucket of about a dozen a little less than a dozen uh, jumbos and large uh, pilchards uh, just in case but I'm gonna try to target uh, doing some vertical jigging primarily get some action that way uh, if I get getting burnt on that I'll throw some uh, dropping down some uh, pilchards and see what happens with those but otherwise nice clean conditions out here just got a little swelly but not too bad the water's beautiful dark blue uh we got nice sun very few clouds around here uh we got some running along the island it's supposed to be some on and off rains but i don't think that's going to happen today so we're going to take advantage of it and uh, see what we can catch First drop, first fish. Small, so I don't want it to get eaten. Oh shit, damn it, shark.
Second drop, second fish. I'm wreck jigging out of shape. Alright, there he goes. Oh, another Almaco. Yeah, I'm go. Uh, he's throwing pilchards out, so I might switch to that and get behind him. See him busting right there? I did not know they were doing that. Little beneaters. So I'm gonna need to get rigged up here for some tuners. Especially if I catch another Almaco. Okay, time to put these big boys out to work. See there, I've got some nice chunky ones ready to sacrifice themselves for the cause. Look at that beautiful pilcher, whoa. So I've got a long line set up. I get through that nose cavity. Make sure it don't come off. Let him swim around. Oh, look at that. That boy gonna be eaten. All right. And I'm just running a two ounce weight just to help get it down. And then I've uh, moved quite a bit above the wreck. So I have plenty of time to get the, uh, the bait down. Now I'm not looking to uh, drop it all the way down to the bottom. I'm just looking at the mid-water column. See what the uh, pelagics are around. And I'm not running wire on this first one. I've, I've been going to try to kind of lean away from the wire until I start getting bite offs and then uh, I'll add it afterwards. But just so I'm not missing bites because of the wire at first. Out here it's not such a big deal because I'm going so deep. But still, I want to calculate how deep I'm going. That pilchard's big enough that it's pulling up that two ounce weight. I would actually go to like a three ounce probably. Uh, not a lot of current, but uh, so I get more of a vertical uh, drop on it and gets that bait down quicker. Yeah, see we're still way above the wreck. I wanted to keep letting it out. I don't want to get too close to that wreck because then you get everything eating these things. The only reason why I'm kind of going to this early is because that boat just took off, but they had been uh, they had been using uh, live pilchards. It looks like he just dumped his uh, live well before they took off. So I saw some little bullet uh, tunas breaking. So there's stuff around, and let's see what happens here. Oh, there we get. There we go. Taking it. Taking it. There we go. Come 
on up. Come on up. Alright, come on. Alright, come on. Come on! Ugh. Just gotta keep him. Get him up. Break his spirit. There he goes. Oh, fudge. Ah, yeah, that was not good. I was too deep in the water column. And the reason why I'm not putting more torque on it is because I'm only running 40 pound a liter. And I'd rather lose that way than breaking my line and I could play with the drag a little bit go a little heavier but I just got to kind of test things out yeah fudge mackerels all right well I'm gonna throw a jig down and hit these marks at uh, 200 250 and see what that is while I am here coming up uh, hit right at the bottom so now I'm a little bit off the wreck so as long as he doesn't pull me backwards that's a little bit more comfortable First fish I caught was over here, and that's where that shark came up. So, man, my arms are burning already. Four drops, four fish. Ah, oh, damn it. That got heavy all of a sudden. And that's pulling me back to the wreck. Going right back to the wreck. I can't even lift it. I got him slowed down at least, but it's just pulling the kayak. I can't even lift the rod. Oh, fudge me. Getting my butt kicked. Man, I am getting whooped on today. I am big fish. Vertical jigging, wreck fishing out of shape. They're kicking my ass, and it's freaking hot today. I'm sweaty and stinky already. I haven't even done anything. Four drops. So, I'm going to make another long run up front. 
above the wreck and then I'm going to put another pilcher down but I'm going to uh, probably stick to about half the uh, depth range keep it in about 100 150 foot try to stay away from that wreck because my arms are jelly I couldn't even reel anymore and hold that rod so I'm get some water take a break because it's freaking hot and I'm gonna try to land one of these little guys All right, let's try this again. Look at that dude. Whoa, 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 going a little crazy. Send him down on his way. But not so deep this time. Because I want to take a breather. Uh, at least some clouds came in so it's not direct sunlight. Arms are still tired. All right, take a breather time. Uh oh, it's getting nervous. Uh oh, there it goes. I think something might have it. Yep. Oh. Okay. Alright, get you out God dang it! Dang it! Small fish! Not big fish! Come on! Okay. All right, come on. Come on. Right by the wreck, so. Not good. Not good. Not good. Not good. There we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Pump him up. Get his head up. Come on. No. No. 
Oh, sharks. Sharks. Sorry. Assholes. Where you at, damn it? Jesus! Oh. Pump and wine. This is miserable. I literally can't lift and whine anymore. 
gonna break my tip. What the hell? Damn, Jack. On the leader and on the wait. Oh, there he is. Oh, that's horrible. Oh. Right. Let's get you in, baby. Get you out of here. Yeah, thank you. I'll let you go here. Oh, blowing out his air bladder, so that's a help. I'm gonna let you go, buddy. Real quick. Let's get you some water. God dang it. Come back here. Oh. Turn up. There he goes. Oh, make sure he goes. It's going down. Oh. I was gonna try to revive him, but couldn't grab his gill plates. Oh God, that was a mistake. <sighs> that wasn't pleasant at all. Okay, so here's a technical tip or helpful hint for you. Inshore rod, that's what I just caught that amberjack on. And this is the Shimano Terramar seven foot heavy duty. Okay, rated 15 to 30. In general, it's a great rod. I mean, I catch tarpon that are twice the, the weight and length of that uh, uh, amberjack. But you gotta remember, if you watch my facts of shark fishing, it's way different when you're doing it on a horizontal plane where versus like this amberjack where you're straight static uh, vertical, okay? In order to gain line on a horizontal, you just pull your boat, kayak, whatever, towards that fish and it alleviates the amount of drag. When you're straight vertical up and down, there is no connect different break in the connection. It's basically that fish to your arms with that broad flexing a bit. And that's what this rod is just not for. Okay, and I could tell you a big hurt was this little grip right here is not a good leverage point for pulling straight up heavy weights. And worse, I was yanking on this thing, this uh, hook keeper was just destroying my fingertips because that is the grip and that's the only place you can grip to get some lift on that fish so that was just destroying my hands 
and I just did not have enough backbone on this for that vertical type of fights. So that's why there are specific offshore rigs that have a long uh, pulling handle here. You'll see the foams generally will go up to maybe about there and they'll tend to have more of a backbone in the same 15 to 30. Inshore rod, great for big tarpon, twice the size of an amberjack, but they're jumping, they're pulling you horizontal and you got a lot of flex that you can play with. But oh, man, it'll break you if you have the wrong equipment. All right, so that amberjack was my fault. I should never have used that big pilchard. This one's probably a little bit, oops, along the larger size than I need or want. I want a fish in the five to 10 pound range. I don't want big fish like that. Another thing is if you watch that uh, truth about shark fishing, I'm still using the same leader hook. Everything's still the same. Not even slime on this because when I'm vertical fishing, when I'm pulling that fish up vertical, you don't have to worry about abrasion. And that's what I was talking about, the different types of shark fishing. When I'm on a kayak like this, I get right up on those big sharks. I don't have to worry about a big stretch of wire leader, or a big uh, shock leader for uh, rubbing because of the fact that uh, I keep that angle on the fish and it's right on their face, not on their body. So anyways, let's drop down again. I'm gonna do another uh, cruise through there and I'm not gonna go as deep. Five to 10 pounds or nothing. That's what we're looking for. All right, that bait's getting really twitchy. Small fish, small fish, nothing big. No amber jacks, no amber jacks. Jack me off spray. Oh, I hope I don't live to regret this. Small pumps, pump and wine. If your arms weren't jelly, this would be even smoother. This thing hit it hard, whatever it was, but. Arms are burnt. <laughs> there we go, right in the gut. Oh, looks like a mutton. Oh, nice mutton. Oh shit! No! <laughs> Stay bloated, baby! Stay bloated! <laughs> no, you can't make it down. go
depths. something small usually these get eaten which is never good oh that came off came off or got eaten either way that had low chance of uh, surviving <laughs> Coming up. No. Oh. Oh. Messing around anymore. Come on. I can't even lift and wind. Ugh. This arm has failed me. Oh. oh, Almaco. Oh. oh, man. Decent one. Stop. Getting a little bit of panic attack there. Come on, take it, take it, take it. Oh, there we go. There it goes.
Oh. <sighs> Man. Golly. Where did it break this time? Got my weight still. Eh, it just cut me off. Oh, at least. All right, let's try this again with the different setup. I'm gonna use my trolling rod. And put this guy down. And see if that increases our odds a bit. Since I've got a little bit more drag on this reel. And it's a little bit more stout than that spinning reel. My only weak point is, is that uh, my wind on leader is only 40 pounds because I usually for uh, trolling. But I've got 65 pound braid behind that, so we'll see what happens here. Go. There we go. I think we've got a head without a torso. Sure did get easy. Yeah, something. Oh, yeah, hey, holes. Oh, yeah. 
effing look at the size of that mutton oh you guys are such emmers oh that was a <laughs> that would have been a beautiful mutton oh Golly. Oh, that's so depressing. Man, look at the size of that mutton. Oh. Man, that was the beauty of a mutton. Dang it. I mean, that mutton would have been that big, at least. Oh, geez. Oh, that is just a heartbreaker. So I think that's gonna make a good stopping point. I don't wanna feed these sharks out here, especially fish like that. Um, so we're gonna call it a day. I've still got an hour, 15 minutes uh before it gets dark but that'll take the whole time to get back so i'm just going to cruise it nice and slow on the way back uh hopefully you enjoyed the the video uh good evening on the uh rex uh not too bad for a four hour shift so uh anyways um unfortunately we've got a storm brewing starting tomorrow afternoon so i should be able to get out and be able to do something tomorrow probably can't out can't come off shore but uh We'll try to come up with something. Then we've got like a week of some uh, pretty crappy weather. But uh, anyways, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I want to make it a long one since I won't be out for a while. So anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you next video. Bye. Check out that awesome sunset.